Whoa! Yeah! That's how 15, 20 pound mutton screams, guys. Let him fight, let him fight. He's in the reef. Huge mutton. Monster mutton snapper. Don't miss. He's 20 pounds. Shocking with seaweed. Back by popular demand, everybody's been asking for a shallow water mutton video like the first one we did a year ago. And here I am to give you another one. I was patient with it until we had a really good pop where we got some big 15, 16 pounders. And we did just that. And this time we are fishing strictly Isla Mora. Fitching Momelichin in my favorite place in the world, the Florida Keys. But this time, Isla Moral. My buddy wanted to go have a, a bite at the Lazy Days, so we actually drove our boat to uh, Amara K, where you could dock your boat. It's a hotel. Gave the uh, deckhand there a few bucks, and we walked over to the Lazy Days, which is by Bud and Mary's. We had some lunch, and we were able to get out and have a late afternoon uh, bite on those mutton snappers. This time, we were fishing all around this area. This is Alligator Reef Lighthouse. A lot of jet skiers, a lot of people like to launch because there's a boat ramp there by Robbie's. So a lot of people like to go here and, and hang out by the lighthouse because it's crystal clear water, lots of reefs. And one thing that they do have a lot by Alligator Light is sanctuaries. So do not confuse fishing patch reefs with, fish, with fishing in areas with those big mooring buoys, those big yellow buoys that are marked. Those are sanctuaries that's off limits. If you get caught fishing in a sanctuary, you're in big trouble. But all in this area, we fished and we had a lot of success. The mun snapper bite around Alligator Lighthouse was on fire. We'd fish one spot, it'd be on fire. We'd fish, an, uh, we'd pull up anchor, I'd find another patch reef, fish about just seven minutes away, and back to the bite. Mun snapper after mun snapper. But here it is, have at it guys, Alligator Lighthouse, Isla Morada. But in general, like Adam Whalen from St. Louis, you do not have to go to any patch reef in particular or any area of the Florida Keys in particular. It could be anywhere from Key Largo, from Miami, all the way to Key West. Chum, live bait, fresh bait, chum up those patches, anchor up, be patient, and you're going to have mutton snappers during the months of February, March, and April. Sometimes even all the way till May. Um, there you have it. Good luck. Don't overfish it. Don't fish in a sanctuary, and I hope this video helps you like it helped my buddy Adam Whalen and dozens of Sharking with Seaweed subscribers. Truck is loaded, Ballyhoo's packed, got all my combos all set up, but waiting on the wife. Uh, this is part two of shallow water mutton snapper fishing. Part one uh, got over 50,000 views. We're using 30 pound tests on these spinning reels. This is a BG 5000 with a Tsunami carbon uh, shield fishing rod. You can find these at Captain Jack's Bait and Tackle. This guy, not just because he's my friend, but he really does have the best prices on brand new rods and reels here in Miami, Florida. The next combo is a Penn Battle 6000. That one actually has four 40 pound tests. Same carbon shield rod from Tsunami. Then I have my Saragossa 1400 with 50 pound test braid. And then I'm trying out these reels. This is a Speedmaster 16 and a Speedmaster 12. Here on our BG 500, we have 30 pound test as I mentioned. And this is the rig we're gonna be using for mutton snappers. A regular fish finders uh, rig. It's actually, uh, I'd say about three feet of 50 pound test with a small swivel, a big gun mustad hook, 5-0 big gun mustad hook, and a small quarter ounce uh, weight, baby swivel. We're gonna be using this with fresh or live ballyhoos, whole. Before we even drop one bait, I'm going to the patch reefs and I'm gonna dump around 50 pounds of ballyhoo chunks. All right, so we're here 
at one of my patch reefs and we're gonna do as promised this whole 20 well this is half of it but we're gonna throw 25 pounds of ballyhoos all around here and guess what come back later and this place should be nice and chummed up let me actually move up a little we're gonna, we're gonna chum the whole circumference in case there's uh three or four big red groupers in one spot and they want to play greedy and eat every chunk we're gonna have to spread it out so i got the the boat in drive while i'm chumming put in neutral uh lexus chum 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 up the whole circumference of your patch reef oh yeah oh yeah i want it i want it i want it i want it all right guys see you later mutton snappers we'll be back so we are doing something that we've done in the past uh spear fishing i've done this usually leave a block of chum on the bottom come back to the reef that i like to dive or the ledges that have the uh the big fish on them leave the block of chum with a weight and a little buoy come back and you find the spot all on fire but today i'm gonna run the risk i'm gonna put this big uh this big weight inside this dive bag with this 25 pound block of chum this is like a 60 dollar investment stringer that up drop it with a water bottle right here on this beautiful reef and i'm gonna go try to get some lobsters for two hours and come back the reef should be on fire and we should have some content some real good bottom fishing i've never done this fishing so let's see how it goes my weight's in there start sewing my my neck clothes all right we got our main line here I'm gonna go through here, do my first knot through all the monos. Then I'm going to, for support, come back around here, see if I can get a knot around that base. There we go. All right, all right, that's a du double header. So we have our 25 pound block chum, dock line. I got my water bottles. Hopefully no one finds my water bottles. Marks my big mutton hole over here. And we're going over. We're gonna dump this 25 pound block of chum, leave it for two hours, come back. This spot should be on fire with no fishing pressure. Follow me over. There we go. There she goes. And we got that big, what was it, a three pound wet lead? I right, run the bottom, got our bottle, toss it over. This is awesome. I'm so excited. I, I didn't bring my underwater camera. I'll do it the next time, but uh, we'll be back. When I come back, hopefully it's so clear today, you'll be able to see a bunch of mutton snappers, groupers, yellowtails, all surrounding that dock line right there. All right, our water bottles have been turning all the way down, have been spotted. We're about to pull up on them. I'm dying to know what kind of fish are down there. Next time we do this, I promise I will. Move up a little bit more, honey. Thank you, babe. All right, perfect. Now we're on the right side and we're going into our net. Oh, I got a knee on there. We got a yellow tail. This is epic! Look at this, I shoot, you know, a yellow tail got stuck in here, guys. What? Give me a knife. Unreal. <laughs> Look at this. Something was gnawing at it, too. I think that's a keeper yellow tail we caught in our... <laughs> is this illegal? I don't even know. He may be a keeper. Hold that there so it doesn't fall in, babe. We had a yellow tail stuck. A keeper yellowtail stuck inside of our, <laughs> that's funny. Put them in here for now. By some, something with teeth, look, ripped it up. Some toothy critter, critter. maybe a uh, an eel, a shark, who knows. 
Hopefully the big mutton snapper. Alright. That's done. Gotta clean that up. And now we're back to chumming regular. And now it's time to fish, guys. Pretty cool. We gotta keep her yellow tail out of it. And I'm sure our reef is nice and chummed up. Neutral. Get you all that she wants. Isn't it, baby? She's gonna get you all. Here's another baby. Oh. Nice yellow tail. Let him fight, let him fight, he's in the reef. No, no, it's not a shark, that's a big mun inside the, the, on the rubbing on the coral heads. Huge mun rubbing on the coral heads, buddy. Slow and steady. Hey, he's off, he's coming off. That's a big mutton, bro. He's just wrapped on the coral. Right. Oh my God. Hope he doesn't pop you. Go underneath me. Sorry. It's a big mutton, buddy. Big mutton. Big one. Oh shit, the cooter's there too. Slow, slow. Big one. This is what we came for. No, no, it's a big one. Trust me, I know my spot. That's a giant one snapper, bro. Big old one. I see the paint. Big old mutton, dude. Slow, slow. Big mutton, buddy. Big old mutton. Trust me. What the cooter river? River, river. Oh shit. Yeah, baby. I told you. Oh, that's a man, brother. Yeah. That's a beauty. Mijo, look at the sand from rubbing on the sand. That's a beauty. Yeah, we did it, buddy. That's a beauty. Yeah. I told you, he's rubbing in the reef. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. All right, bud. I'm glad you caught it too. Oh yeah. Still has sand on his nose from digging into the into the grass beds and the uh, patch reefs. Got two giant muns right here, and my other rod got nailed. Grab this one, Alexis. Yeah, Whoa! Yeah! That's how 15, 20 pound mun screams, guys. Might be a big mun. It's a big mun. need to be 24 inches. It's a big big mun. Yeah, no, this is a, this is a, a 20 pound mun. That's a good boy. 18 pound mun. You want me to reel this one in? Yeah, good. please. Huge mun, guys. Big old mun. Put this rod uh, out of here. Big mun, buddy. Get that guy Freddy, this King Kong. 
King Kong Mons here, bro. Tell Make me. Make sure you get me on video to show you how to gaff a fish. Okay, buddy. Because I think your, your crowd, your followers. I will like it. 197,000. I would like to see it. By the way, your gaff is open. Yeah, I know. Big old mud. Here, let me go over that rod. Where's this rod at? Oh, it's over here. Yeah, tuck it down. Tuck it down. Here, tuck it down. Tuck it down. Keep pressure. There go. Yeah. On the other side of you. Big old mutton, guys. Oh, he's huge. Huge mutton snapper. Huge mutton snapper. Did you already? Yeah. Huge mutton snapper. Oh, shit. Huge mutton snapper. Huge mutton. Monster mutton snapper. Don't miss. He's 20 pounds. Wait, wait, wait. Not yet, not yet. Big old mutton snapper. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, baby! This is what we come for! <laughs> yeah! Yeah, baby! I told you! Take the gaff out. Great gaff job, by the way. Oh! Yeah! Shark and weed! Seaweed! Look at the size of this mud. This thing fought like a shark. Look at the size of one. Big old mountain baby. Hey, get up. All right, guys, I have a secret. Nobody knocking my door. Nothing. Don't open the door. You're going to ruin the video. I have a secret. These kids cannot know about. Wait, wait, wait. It's a secret. Wait. Close the door. Close the door. Wait, wait. It's a secret. All right, all right. It's a secret. All right. Now that everybody's out, guys, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Over here by these nautical curves. Come, 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 come. It's a secret. All right. Come here. Come here. Listen. I've been keeping it a secret. Look, people want to know about the secret. <laughs> the big mutton snappers were caught on a secret bait that you can use now. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. Shh, 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 shh. Oh, no. You see that finger? Don't tell anybody. The, the big mutton snappers were caught on fresh grunt heads. Okay? The secret's out, but you guys, don't tell anybody. I brought you in the room. I brought my girls. Don't tell anybody. I kept this a secret from everybody. Grunt heads. You see it in the picture? Grunt heads for the big muttons. You heard that drag screaming? Grab Look at that mutton. Oh, yeah, that's 30 inches there. Yeah, that's, a big that's a 30 inch. Whoa. Look, guys, just so you see. There's my foot. <laughs> Look how big that mutton is. Hold this, Alexis. Hold this way. Big old mother. Look at that. 31 inches, guys. Zoom in to the tail. 31 inches. Look, get the whole fish. That's a big mountain, guys. Oh, yeah. 31 inch mountain, baby. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size of them! Whoa, 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 whoa! This is too big for this fish hatch! Is he 20 pounds? Is he 25? Is he 15? What do you guys think? Because this one is about, I don't know, 8, 10 pounds. So what do you think this is?
now for the cleaning portion of our big mutton snapper. Of the whole fish? Thanks. Some, uh, the cleaning portion of our uh, mutton snapper catch clean and cook. Start at the top of the head. Make my incision. Come around that rib cage. Turn my blade, angle it up. All right, let's get my outline going. Outline this whole fish. Beautiful mutton snapper. Wait till you guys see it on the video. Oh, you already saw this part of the video, actually. Thing I, on the video, I go, he's 20 pounds! Got a little excited there. We had a big cuda chasing him too. I think the cuda saw this this money is like, nah, nah, that's too big of a meal. That's not gonna be easy to swallow. And I got my outline. Now I'm gonna follow the on top of that uh on top of that rib cage, on top of those bones. Just ride it down the bone line. Mmm, beautiful white meat. down on an angle towards the other side pop it through and angle down <clears throat> pop that up follow it all the way through oh this is to break the rib cage the big knife mm. there we go those ribs that get you that's the hardest part all right look at that clean fillet left a little sliver of meat there but all in all beautiful clean fillet beautiful skeletal oh let's see what was in his gullet feels like it's full of my chum we chummed all those values remember hours before we chummed all those values and now we're gonna see if it was paying off here's his stomach autopsy time Let's release that stomach from his carcass. And out she comes. Was my chumming working or not? Feels like something bigger. Looks like a little reef fish. You see his mouth right there? Looks like a reef fish. Let's see what that was. Oh, it looks like a parrot fish or something. Out she comes. Oh, it was a grunt tail I threw over. I actually cut this grunt in half, threw it over, and he came for that big bait. So there you have it. Now you know seaweed's secret baits. It's not always ballyhoo. Grunt. I'm gonna skin it. Fingertips on the top of the skin. Knife on an angle. Ooh. Should usually don't leave that much meat there, but it's all good. But that's how it should look. Beautiful mutton snapper fillet, guys. Oh, wait, one last thing. One last thing. Right here where the bloodline is, you want to take out about two inches. For some reason, they still have bone right here in this little bloodline, but only about two inches of it. So once the fillet looks like that, your rib cage is out, you're gonna wanna go make a little incision like a surgeon, surgeon seaweed. On that side, on this side, pull it up and cut it out. There it is. That is a perfect mutton snapper fillet. Look how thick these things are, like a big black grouper. This is gonna be delicious. 
Tonight, we, I believe, I may switch it up, but tonight I think I'm going to do a Takis batter and a corn, uh, seasoned cornflake batter, which is real crispy. So tune in for that. Catch clean mutton snapper. I'll see you in the kitchen. All right, now it's time for me and my sous chef, Dili, to make a secret sauce for our mutton snapper. Nobody knows about this sauce. You know why? Because me and him, we made it. We made this sauce. So just pay attention to what we do here. <laughs> and, and if you don't pay attention, then you get the karate. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start off with put some of that in there. Go. Doodle. You got that? All right, good. It's okay. All right, that's good. Squeeze that in there, Tilly. So we put a few squiggles of Tabasco. We don't follow recipes. Then look, a little toddler squeeze of lime. Oh, good job. Wait, hold on, hold on. Mom, it's fine, it's fine. Don't worry, don't worry, it's okay. Just, just keep, keep it, it on. Okay. No, it, she's just gotta point it this way. That's good. All right, squeeze my hand hard. All right, a full uh, half a li lime in there. All right, Didi, some of this stuff. This looks good. Let's try it. What do you think? Throw some of that in there. Some Wishashire. Can you say Wishashire? Wishashire. Wishashire. All right. Doodle, doodle. A little bit more. That's good. All right, so what is this called? Wishashire. Wishashire. <laughs> Can you say it, Lindy? Wishashire. 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 So a little bit of Wishashire sauce. And this is called Didi Paprika. Can you say Paprika? Paprika? Paprika. 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 Right. So give us a little uh, dazzle in there. Okay. Guys, again, this recipe, there's no uh, there's no measurements. You gotta go by feel, okay? All right, now's the fun part, Didi. You ready? I'm gonna call you the jackhammer. You know why? You're the jackhammer because you're in charge of this hammer. Oh my god. All right, hammer away, Didi. Not too hard. Go. Crush it. Crush it. Crush it. Yeah, doo -doo. <laughs> All right, the jackhammer's going to work. Give me about three minutes and he'll be done with jackhammering this garlic, and then we're going to mix it all together. Okay. Guys, Gio, you're too young to drink beer, but you, just on time. No, no I'm kidding. Pour it into this bowl, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pour this beer into there. You know what this is called, guys? Can you say beer batter? Beer batter. Beer batter. So, all right, go, go. Just go with it. What the heck? Go with it. No, Lynn, get out of here, dummy. All right, throw that away. Why the dog is outside? All right, now, <laughs> now I need you guys to whip this up like that, okay? Slowly. Don't spill it everywhere. Whip it. Like right. this, okay. look. You got to have the, the flick of the wrist. All right, here. The other hand, you're lefty. Oh, you're lefty. Go. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. We're going to whip that up real fine. And then we're gonna drop our mutton snapper in there. Now and then we're dropping it into it in then our cornflakes. Now for the secret weapon. Can you say this? Say cornflake. 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 We're gonna make our, our mutton snapper today with battered cornflake. Cornflake and seasoning. You hold that right there. I'll get these cornflakes right here. Let me pour these in. Wash your hands. All right. All right. You ready with the hammer? I got your tool. What's this called? This is called a mallet. Mallet. And what are these called? Conflé. Conflé. Okay. Didi's ready with the mallet for the conflé. All right, slowly, Didi, slow. No, the other side. Like that. Go ahead. Go. Go harder. Harder, Didi. Yeah, doo -doo. All right, now I need you to do the maniac. You know what the maniac is? Like this, look. We your hands, go, go, maniac! Maniac! Yes, it's maniac! Man, you wanna help? All right, now that the kids got the breadcrumbs all crunched up, this is gonna make that fish nice and crunchy, nice and crunchy. Now that they're all crunched up, we're gonna add... We're gonna add some paprika. 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 How do you say it, Stevie? Paprika. Paprika. Okay. Curry. Curry. Some curry. We're gonna add some curry. Black pepper. Black pepper. You look so good, Some Cajun seasoning. 
Yeah. We're gonna add some fukutaso mukulaku. Fukutaso mukulaku. Yeah, okay. No, I'm kidding. Complete seasoning. Complete seasoning. All right. Shake, shake it up, Didi. Shake it up, Didi. Here you go. Shake it up slowly. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake, 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 and now our mutton snapper. And we got the tilapia on sale. Seano. <laughs> Shout out to Seano. Nana came through with the coupone. Lo coupone. <laughs> Didi. <laughs> hey, don't. Didi loves Seano. <laughs> La viejita en Seano. Fresca. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got to get it when it's on sale. You get what? What is it? Get three pounds, get four free. That's nah, it. Dude. Tilapia, guys. My favorite fish. You guys know how I love tilapia. <laughs> <laughs> tilapia. All right, guys. So we got our mutton snapper fillets. We're cubing them over here. And then we're going right into our egg wash. Don't make it all, Mickey. We'll make it. No, I have uh, no hair nets. We're going to flip it. No <laughs> hair nets here. No hair Boy, nets. Boy, yo, be <laughs> careful. A dread might fall. Damn, where the dread at? <laughs> yo. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna have to do a, a music <laughs> over. <laughs> all right, guys. All right, Shh. everybody, be quiet. All right, guys. We got our breadcrumbs. All right. We're going in with our mutton snapper. Big, beautiful mutton snapper chunks into our Kellogg's. What are they called? Conflé. Yeah. How do you say it? Conflé. Conflé. Into our conflé. We're going mutton snapper chunk, mutton snapper chunk into our cornflakes. And then we're gonna give it a nice shake. You remember how to shake it up? Shake. All right, go ahead, shake it up. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Turn this way to Poppy. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Go, Didi, go, Didi, go. Next you'll see us in the oil. Didi, yeah. help me get these mutton snappers nice and crunchy in those Kellogg's Corn Flakes. And now we're going into that hot bubbling oil. Come over here, guys. Let's go into that oil. Ooh. You don't need it anymore, right? Ooh. Supreme crunch, extra crunch. Big chunks, big chunks of money snapper. All right, those will be out and it'll be time for the taste test. Ooh, cornflakes, yes. How is it? Go. Oh. You haven't even tasted it yet. <laughs> is it good? Tell me the truth. Now that you're really tasting it. All right, good. All right, one snapper battered in gold All right, guys, everybody, take a piece of fish. Did that one snapper. Look how flaky it came. No out. double dipping. Look at that, crunchy. Everybody. Take a, a dip in the sauce. A little dip. A little dip. Mama snapper in the sauce. Ooh. Everybody got a piece. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Someone is greedy. Oh. Someone is greedy. Right, everybody, everybody, everybody get a taste. Cheers. 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 All right, review, review. How is it? Oh, oh. Good. <laughs> he says. All right, that concludes. Another episode of Shogun with Seaweed! Shogun with